happy cooking. This is your flexitarian chef. Once again, we have a wonderful recipe for all of you guys that love protein, that love eating. Today, we're going to make a recipe. We're gonna make a flat iron steak from West Coast beef and seafood, which is the best steak ever. Even if you're a vegetarian, you're gonna turn yourself into a meat eater. And this is an amazing cut of beef. And what we're gonna do is it comes out frozen in pieces like this. And all you have to do is put it in a bowl with a little bit of cold water for 10 minutes. And this is the new excitement part. So, so lots of great protein. This is grass fed beef, humane treated, the most excellent, amazing piece of beef that you will ever have. Why spend a lot of money on cheap cuts when you can actually go to West Coast beef and seafood and get the very best steaks ever. So what we have in here, the flexitarian chef is gonna make a chimichurri steak today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use three pieces of steak and then, <clears throat> and we're gonna make also some a baked potatoes. A lot of times people tell me, how do I make baked potatoes on the Salon Master cookware? Number one, we're gonna use the three core pan, cold pan, take some beautiful golden Yukon gold potatoes, or you can use the rusted potato, whatever collects your fancy. So two, we're gonna do three potatoes, and then we're gonna add half a cup of water, a small amount, just enough to, not even half a cup, it's a quarter cup of water, just enough to give it some moisture. And then what we do is, we're gonna turn it, we're gonna put the potatoes in there, turn it to medium, and with that little vapor valve click, we're gonna turn it down to low. So just leave it in there, medium, click, low. Now for the steaks, we're going to use the 12-inch gourmet skillet. Now, if you don't want to take, if you don't want to use the handles to cook with, you can actually just press this button right here. Make sure that when you put them back on, that the 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 button that you press is facing the top of the skillet. So press and push out. So press and push out. So that way, you always have beautiful uh, handles that never dull, and they're always going to look shiny. Now, so what we're going to do is for the steak. Take the steaks right now, and we're gonna use, we're gonna add some pepper and garlic to the steak. And of course, in the meantime, <clears throat> we're gonna turn on the skillet, the 12 inch gourmet skillet to medium. And then we're gonna add some sea salt as well. It's approximately about two teaspoons I like to go sparingly, but sea salt is actually very good for you because there's over 84 trace minerals. So just put it on the steak, on all of them. And this is a really beautiful, very marble steak, so it's, it's not gonna need any oil at all. Okay, so now that it's preheated, let's test the pan and see if it's preheated completely. Not quite yet. In the meantime, we grab our potatoes. The valve's already clicking. We turn it down to low. So as you notice that it's clicking steady. Once it clicks steady, you wanna turn it down to low, which that's what we did now. So now let's do the, the test once again on that 12 inch gourmet skillet. Perfect, you see the water bead? That's exactly what you wanna see when you wanna fry with no oil, just like that. So now take the steak. and put all three beautiful flat iron steaks. And now what we wanna do is you can actually cook it while it's open like this, or you can take the lid and leave it half open. So in that way, you're not gonna smell up the house while you're doing your cooking. My husband is a full-blown vegetarian, so sometimes he doesn't like it when I cook beef, but I am the flexitarian chef, so I have to cook everything except iguanas. So, okay, so now for the chimichurri sauce, we're gonna take some garlic, and so just take a handful of garlic once again, put it on your hand, and if you're using the salad master machine, use the number one cone, and just press lightly. And look at how beautiful you get. Perfect grated garlic. 
Okay? And on now what we do is we're going to add this garlic to a small container. And then we're going to take some parsley. Take the parsley. Want to use organic parsley. And then we're just going to chop it up really fine. Just watch your fingers. You can use a cuisinar if you like, but of course not everybody has one, so I want to show you how you can do it with a knife. So just slowly up and down. Just watch what you're doing. Move your little fingers out of the way. Sometimes you have to put your fingers like that, so that way it won't cut your fingers or the knuckles. Okay, so just take some of the, the parsley in there, empty it into a bigger bowl, and take some beautiful Mission Blend olive oil. This is like 20 year old olive oil. Mix it good. Add a little bit of sea salt. And voila, this is gonna go on the top of the steak. So we wanna let it marinate. So the longer that you let it marinate, the better, the tastier it is. Not only this is a concoction great for getting rid of vampires, but sometimes keeping those people that you don't like away. Just kidding. Okay, so mix it good. Mix well. And see how it tastes. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Okay, a little more sea salt, just in case you forgot to add it. Okay, so now let's check on the steak. So that's about five minutes on each side. Look at those juices. Oh my gosh, that is so amazing. And now we're gonna cover it. And always remember to keep it at medium heat. You don't need to lower, you don't need to kick it up a notch or anything like that. It takes 10 minutes to make the steak for a medium steak. For a medium well done, it takes 15 minutes only. And if you want it really charcoal, at least 20 minutes. Wow. Oh, just like I love my steak. That is just so perfect. Okay, so what we'll do is just we're gonna bring it out. And then we're gonna add some of the chimichurri sauce on the top. Mmm, that looks amazing. And now let's look at our potatoes. How much water did we put? Only about what, quarter cup? Maybe half cup the most? Oh my, my, look at those baked potatoes. They're absolutely beautiful. And look at that, all the water was absorbed by the potatoes instead of having to throw it away, you retain up to 93% of the nutrition. Now, you want that, the bigger one or the small one? It's a medium. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Let's take it right on the side. Let's see how we can squeeze it with our hand even though it's hot. Oh, hot, hot. Oh, hot, hot, hot. We can just do a little cross there. So if you really like potatoes, this is the best. And for those of you who are vegan lovers with no steak, you can do your chimichurri on the potato as well, if you like. Mmm, side by side. Put a little bit of the olive oil, infuse. And there you go. Look at how soft and tender that is. So here you have it. A beautiful baked potato on the top of the stove with a gorgeous piece of delicious steak. So this is your Flexitarian Chef. Until then, have a happy, healthy, and wealthy day.